Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use this new method to create AI influencers. Now with this one, I'm currently inside this website called Hugging Space. There are a lot of influencer websites to create some AI images out there. However, there are some errors when you're being collab with Google. I found this out and I wanna share it to you right away. This is gonna be the link, huggingface.co spaces Tencent Arc Photomaker. This application or AI has been created by Tencent Arc Photomaker. And with this one, we have the rules here. So first one, upload images of someone you want to customize. One image is okay, but more is better. So again, they don't have face detection. So the suggested photo needs to be in the majority of the face of the AI. Next one, for the text prompt, you need to follow the trigger words such as image, man image, or woman image. More on. Let's use it right now. So I'm going to create two samples here, one for single photo and one for multiple photos. This is the difference, right? So I'm just going to drop it right there. I'm going to look for the one I like. This guy right here. By the way, I got it from Pexels. It's a very good website to get free images. Now, once you're here, here's the prompt. Again, make sure you type in this exact prompt. Make sure you type this exact prompt. A photo of this is going to be image. Let me just use a bracket. IMG bracket one more time. So you might be confused how come I'm not using a man or a young guy? Because in this yeah, it was made to be this trigger word. It will recognize this as that photo. So a photo of an image, let's just say wearing black sunglasses. Like so. Perfect. Period right there. Make sure everything is good. And with the style, you can choose a lot of style. You have cinematic, this in character digital art, face art, and so on and so forth. I'm gonna go with cinematic right there. And if you choose advanced options, here are the negative prompts. It's already auto-populated. But if you wanna add some more, for example, if you wanna put noisy, you can put right there. The number of steps also will be here, but I suggest don't move the suggested number of steps. By default, it would 50, and that is good enough. For the style strength, this is the intensity and how much it will refer the style for this one i choose cinematic right number of input images i'm gonna go with two and guidance scale i'm gonna bring with five and then i'm gonna choose randomized seed because i don't have a specific seed with me right now and that being said i'm gonna click on submit and wait for the magic to happen and right now it will take around two minutes i'll get back to you once it's here so here we have it we have our two photos right there if you can take notice, it captured almost 95% of our reference photo. Even those earrings right there, the lips, the nose. I'm not going to say the hair captured it, but I'm going to say it's a pretty good photo, right? Now let's try using multiple photos. I'm just going to remove this one and upload new ones. I'm going to use this photo I got from Midjourney. Let me just this for right here. Multiple photos of one person, by the way. Even though they said multiple photos, make sure they're on one person only. Now I'm gonna make sure I have the same prompt for of an image wearing black sunglasses. I'm not gonna touch anything on the parameters. I'm just gonna simply click on submit and wait for the magic to happen. I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. Here we have it. If you notice the image is right there, it's a different angle. It's much more better with that one. But make sure the photo is the majority of the face of the person. And if you notice right there, it's pretty good, especially this black and white. It now captures the nose, especially, even the red hair right there. And with that being said, this is how you make consistent AI influencer images. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.